Let's get right into the pixie. All right, so what we did off camera, because it's tedious and not worth showing, is we've put all of the I.O. cables in from the front panel and also the sound one um, from using the manual. And so the next step, I'm guessing, is to put the power supply in and then to connect all of the cables from the power supply to the motherboard and connect them to all of these ports. But I'm worrying about these ribbon things. And that is basically my biggest worry. So we've got this heavy 430, 430 watt uh, power supply. And we're just going to put it in, um, get the right way. Um, I might need Jake to help me with this one because we have problems with this before. It's holding it oh, up, yeah. holding it up while I screw it in. So we just stand about here and hold it. Hello. <laughs> Boy, am I screwing this in? Why are you screwing this up? Window. <laughs> JK. Okay. Boy, did that hurt my back and my arm. So. This is going to be difficult. I'm hoping that there's nothing we have to plug in that's directly below this on the motherboard. Because... Oh, did you check? Did I check? No. <laughs> There's a 24 pin. It would be great if we could get that one first. Oh, look at this fat snake light thing. See how fat that is? I'm worrying that half of this video is going to be out of focus because of you moving it around. Oh my god. Look how tight that is <laughs> to the thing. Look how tight that is. I don't think it's going to go in. <laughs> Boy. Jake, it's not time for scraping at the moment. You can do it. It's not okay. It just doesn't fit, Jake. I'm sorry. Where's but... it going? Oh, I got it. I got it. It's... <sighs> well, now you see. The stress is real. I can't explain that enough. Oh, where's that eight? Is this the eight pin? Where's the one that plugs in there? Is that it? Is this it then? Is this the eight pin? This is the eight pin. Yeah. That's the eight pin that goes into the motherboard, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably directly underneath where the power supply is. <laughs> are you looking for parts for a PC? Are you looking for the best possible prices around? Do you want to make sure that they are compatible with your device? Then you need to check out PC Part Picker, which can compare the price of PC parts across a whole range of websites. Then check out the link in the description for more details. Alright guys, we're back and today we're continuing with this video. We got the motherboard in and the power supply back in and we got everything plugged in after those difficulties we had 
we've got our monitor up, put the power onto that, and now we're going to find out if this thing will actually come to life now. So we've got to plug the kettle lead, as it's known, into the power supply. So keep it on the monitor. Such as. I'll see if I can bring this so we can see both of these at the same time. That works nicely. Um, and then all we've got to do is turn the switch on and then just press the on button. Get ready, Jake. Here we go. Let's see. Beeps mean bad things. That was many beeps. Why is it the monitor coming on? I don't know, oh. um, but the thing about this build is that um, is because of the processor that we have, it doesn't have inbuilt graphics, so that could be the reason why oh, wait. it's not going to work. Oh, it's coming on now. Is it? Yeah, the plug is out a bit. Signing no signal, no signal. Alright, so basically, it's not working due to the fact that this process doesn't have inbuilt graphics, which means that this will only work with a uh, GPU, which we're going to get at some point, which will go right in there, and then the slot is here. Um, so yeah, so we've got the fan spinning as you can see in here, um, we've got everything working, so everything's plugged in right. So on the next video, um, we're going to get a new um, hard drive, because that's what the beeps are about, because the cables that connect into the hard drive to the motherboard aren't actually the same as with the old one because they're these little ribbons which aren't really compatible with this motherboard. So on the next video we will get a new hard drive and see if it makes all of them random beeps or not and if it doesn't then maybe on that video or the next one after that we will um, get a new graphics card and everything will be right. So got everything working, all the IO plugs are right so I guess on the next video we're going to get a new graphics card and a hard drive to complete this build. I hope that you've enjoyed this video with me and Jake. Mm -hmm. um, this is brought to you by PC Part Picker, which we've used to look at different prices, such as motherboards and also the hard drive, which we'll get next episode. Special thanks to our cameraman for joining us. And I guess we'll see you on the next video. So thanks for watching and subscribe to Speed 120. And Tough Cookie. For the next video. Good night. Good night.